All right, I believe this is part eight of the Subnautica series. And this is where we left off last time. We did a little bit of modeling in Blender and we did some texturing and substance painter. And I wanna see how far we can push along here. Um, I've left just the two panels in, the, in that sort of middle trim piece there. And of course there's one right there as well. And uh, what I want is I want different stuff, or some different stuff on each of these. Um, one of them is gonna have a sort of a TV monitor and the other one's going to have like an overhead storage compartment. So I think we should uh, do that uh, in Substance Painter. So just brought over, uh, open the, the walls again from before. And I'm just going to call this Walls 2. And I'll give that the name for the material, Walls 2. And what I'm going to do here is um, I'm going to come up. I'm just going to add a regular paint layer and I'm going to make it uh, black and some height. Um, yeah, maybe not quite black, but and bring that down to maybe about there. We'll try that. And for my alpha, I'm going to see if I've got rounded stroke. I don't so uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna grab that this is something that I created uh, and very very simple let's see if I can find that for you rounded rectangle stroke this is it I'm gonna bring this in as an alpha and I actually want to save it to my shelf and just keep that it's a rounded rectangle stroke like that make it a bit bigger and uh, not that and that's going to go in here as sort of an overhead storage compartment. It'd be like that. And something like that. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. And then uh, I'm also going to, I can still go on the same layer. I probably shouldn't, but I will. I'll grab just a regular rectangle and I'll rotate this to sort of make it what would look like a handle I guess a little bit okay and that's pretty much it and that's all I'm gonna do to that all right so I'm gonna go ahead and export that and bring it into blender all right so let's say we do that on this one here all right so we got walls uh, what I'm gonna do is uh, let's see let's just make another one here and let's call this walls walls two it could be just wall two because I've got all this stuff set up now what's this here uh, mission I don't really need that yeah I do need that for the bottom stuff okay this stuff still selected so I can just get rid of that and shift T and let's see if I can find that walls two uh, there I don't need the, to change the emission Okay, so we have that problem down there. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a little bit of a touch up down there later. All right, so there is that piece, and so what I'm going to be doing is copying this along, and every second one will have something different. So let's let's go ahead and on this piece here, uh, what I want to do, and on this piece as well, I actually need. A bunch of edge loops so that it can bend this and I'm gonna need a bunch of edge loops on this one so I can do that and it's not a problem and let's come in here and go from here to here maybe okay and I'm gonna inset and I'm going to extrude back just a, a little bit and okay and then I'm gonna to try to bevel and it's a little bit uh, let's see if I can just focus on in on that. Okay, I'm just going to grab these corners, and it should be okay because of the material that I've used in Substance Painter. It doesn't have a lot uh, to it, and so therefore I can start making some changes here. Should be no problem at all. Control B. We'll do this, and I'll roll up a few times. We'll bevel here, just so it catches a little bit of the light. I'll bevel as much as I can, just like that. And then, let's see, 
Yeah, that's yeah, it's probably gonna be okay. All right, and then I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna add weighted normal and normals auto smooth. And I might actually also add um, an actual bevel and just pull it up and go for a couple. And that should that should be fine. And then I'll probably do this a similar thing here with weighted normals and uh, normals auto smooth and, and also do the same thing here. All right, so it's it's the same all the way down. And there. Okay, just to just to have that. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in here and select these. Okay, and come over here and I've got the walls material on there. I'm gonna create a new material and I'm gonna call this um, wall monitor. And I'll assign it. Okay, actually let's come back here. Let's go to UV editing. Okay, so I've got that, and I'm going to just uh, unwrap it and scale it. I'm going to rotate this 90 and bring it in, and we'll see if it's okay like that. Did I get, ah, uh, I may have got an extra piece in there. I think I did, so I'm going to do that again. Um, in fact, let's uh, control I. <laughs> And make sure that the, just the walls material is on there, and then Control I, just that area is the walls monitor. Okay, let's try that again. And uh, I guess maybe I had a little piece. Okay, and here, what I thought I would do is um, let's create that material or, or, or deal with that material here. Uh, select the principal BSDF and uh, Control T. We'll bring in a uh, UV texture coordinate and an image texture. And I'm gonna open uh, just something that I have that I created before for something else. Just this is like a little computer screen. I'm just gonna have that. And um, let's have that viewable here. And then uh, we'll see if we can you know, get most of it on screen here. That's probably probably okay something like that or uh, yeah all right okay and um let's go to the shading tab here so they got this right okay let's let how about if we do um um an emission on there and add shader and emission not diffuse let's shift s change that to an emission and then uh, just grab this again, um, shifty to duplicate it. And plug that in here. I'll make that like 20 for now and we'll see what that looks like. And it's, I just want it brighter. At any rate, uh, I can mess around with that later. I could put a knob there, we'll see. But that's the main thing. Now, um, what I would start to do then is um, copy this along and snap it into place like that and then take uh, let's see this one and this one shift D and what I really need to do is to figure out how long I want this and so I'm just going to keep going um, to about 10 I think I'm not arraying it um, in fact, when I'm ready, I'm going to join these. I take it back. I think I'm going to do that right now. So if I have that, 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 and that, and I control J, then I can do this and then just snap them. And, and just double check. Yeah, they all have, we all have the edge loops. So I'm going to join those as well. Shift D. I'm going to end up joining the whole thing. So I want it reasonably long so I can then bend it. Maybe that much. And anything I don't want, I can trim off. So that's basically it there. Okay. All right. And... 
I am going to make a change to this, and I think I'll do it right now. What I was thinking I was going to do is, instead of having that green, I want to go for a more black and white kind of color uh, theme. And so, I'm going to put that in there. And then I'm going to bring in the black. Just, I want it really nice like that. I, I think it's going to look cooler when it all comes down to it. So I just want that change in there. Um, yeah. Now, we're going to be mirroring this to the other side. But before we do that, um, I want to come in here and move this out. Let's just bring the 3D cursor there. And I'm going to bring in another plane. And I'll snap it to there. And I'll figure out how wide. I'm going to do some hazard strips along here. And that's just going to sort of lengthen out or widen out the hallway as well. And the thing is, I'm going to make this go all the way down to the end. Okay, and then again, this thing is going to curve. And so for that reason, I'm going to need to put in a lot of edge loops. So I'm just going to keep scrolling till I feel like that's going to be enough to make it curl or curve. And I think that's going to be enough right there. And so that is there and that is snapped on and I will join that eventually. And then this piece is going to uh, go over let's see, and snap on there and then I'll, I'll end up uh, mirroring this as well. Okay, so let's just, I just want to focus just on that for the moment. And I'm going to come in here and I'm going to put an edge just like this. I want to pull it. And yeah, maybe um, scale in the X a little bit more like this. And we'll have a couple of materials right there. We'll have a material, the new material. I'm just going to call this block. And I'm just going to use Blender to do this. There we go. And this is going to be what are we doing? black. And we'll make it uh, partially metallic. And lower the roughness to about, say, 0 0.3. And I'm going to have clear coat on there, about 0 0.3. And um, OK, we're going to have that. And in the middle, we're going to have another material here. So I'll click that, new. And this is, I'll just call this hazard and assign. So if I deselect, if I got the block, let me just check. Yeah, okay. And that, yeah, okay. Um, I'm going to come to the shading tab. And I want it on hazard. And what I'm thinking of doing is hazard stripes. So let's just add that. Let's do control T. All right. Um, I don't think. I think I can just use object and I have to unwrap it. And I'm actually going to change this to a texture, uh, wave texture. And you can start to see what's going on here. Let's do it like that. And I'll put on a color ramp right in there. And I'm again, I'm thinking of black and white. Let's just sharpen that up like that. Well, let's try um, 45 and let's try um, what about that hmm? and so with this it would be something like that so I think I'm happy with this. And so I may join these together. I want to make sure that these are that this is uh, snapped really well. And I think it is. I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to join those together. And that's long enough and I'm going to increase that like that and 
I think I'm ready to take this piece and mirror it to the other side as well. So um, let me just make sure that these things seem snapped. I think they are. Yeah, okay. Not worried about the very end. And so let's try um, just sending the cursor there and see if I can uh, just set the origin to the 3D cursor and um, just mirror this across. And I might put a piece of something uh, over there if it if that little trim piece bothers me. Um, I'm going to apply that mirror, but I just want to go in for the moment and just uh, merge by distance. Okay, just a little bit. Save. And I think I'm going to just join everything after I uh, after I do my array here. So hopefully that's long enough to get a little bit of a curve there. And will come in and um, that's one thing we should look at actually. It's very possible. No, we did really good. <laughs> Nothing is flipped. Congratulations. Okay, so this is what we're getting. This is what we are getting so far. All right. And we'll also be putting on a, a ceiling, and I could do something really, really simple for the moment for that, um, just to just to test it out. And I wouldn't be surprised if I just did something very simple anyhow. Um, I could do that, and I could, I guess, array this in the Y. Um, there's no real material on there at this point. Let's just have a look at what this is like. I think I would want to bring that down. This come in here. Now, I'm going to be rendering in cycles, and I'm going to want to talk to you about um, cycle settings in order for it to render quickly and uh, and and still accurately. All right, but we'll do that in in a, in a future video. So, right now we have the walls. I will bring in the assets. I will bring in a med kit, and I will have a med kit either on this wall or this wall. So every second one on both sides. Um, I will bring in a trash can or two. Um, this will bend, so we will not see the end. I'll be using probably a skybox for lights and adjusting these lights and do some, doing some work in the compositor. And, and that will be it, so there's not much more modeling. As far as the ceiling goes, I may leave it like that or I might put, I think maybe I'll take each of these little individual planes before um, before the array, or I'll make it longer, and I'm going to put a small light on each of these, sort of a sci-fi thing, just really simple. Uh, and then that, I think, is going to be it, unless I'm missing something. All right, so yeah, let's let's leave it at that for now. The the cool render, I hope, <laughs> is coming up soon, and we'll and uh, some of these details will look sharper when we uh, use, um, you know, when we actually render in cycles rather than looking in, uh, you know, material preview. Okay, we'll leave it at that. Thanks so much for watching.